Hey guys, Cindy Otto here with My Artsy Endeavors. How are you doing today? I'm actually doing pretty good. Um, what you see on my desk is some items that I had picked up um, during a yard sale this year. Um, I don't know if you recognize this head was actually on a metal base, which I took it off from. And um, this box I had picked up. The, this is uh, these. I actually have two of them. These are bottles of um, a wine. It was really good. <laughs> that came um, in a set that my girlfriend gave to us from, I think, Switzerland, but I'm not positive. But anyway, so I've got these couple bottles. I have a couple rusted tools here that I had um, picked up somewhere. And then I have this. Now, what I'm going to do, the first thing I'm going to do is actually start working on the box. And I, this is just going to be totally different from my normal. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, I plan on doing just some, some funky things to this. So I hope you guys enjoy. I'll be back in a moment. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this piece of paper in on the background. Um... And of course, you see, I don't measure anything. <laughs> that's just the way I roll. Let's see if that's good. No, still need to take uh, about a quarter of an inch off, maybe. So right about there looks good. Maybe a little too much. That's okay. That is okay. So now I just want to right about there. One good thing about having at least one long fingernail um, is you can just mark paper with it. All right, and this should fit right down in there. Look at that. Okay, so that's the first thing I wanted to do. Let me get rid of this. Now, um, before I get putting stuff in here, there's other things I want to do. I want to, of course, like I glue this in. Let's do that. Um, I'm actually just going to use tacky glue. It's sitting here. And it's almost empty. It's coming. Okay, it's time. Here we go, guys. It's time. You're like, time for what? Time to cut this baby apart. <laughs> in it and we can just cut around it and then we can use a brush to get the rest of the glue out how's that look at all that glue still in there all right so I just want to get this glue down And like I said, this is just, I am just playing with this. I really don't have any idea where I want to go with it. I just know I want to have fun with it. So that's what I'm doing. There we go. First piece in. All right. Now, while I let that dry, um, there are some things I want to do with a couple of these pieces here. Um, and the reason I want to... Uh, I'm going to paint a couple of them, and the reason I want to do that is because I want to be able to distress them afterward, and I'll leave that here. This is one. I'm actually going to grab some deli paper here. This is one, and here are these two. So the first thing I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to gesso this one, and I'm thinking... I'm going to gesso it black. These I'm going to paint, but for now, let's start by gessoing this. Ugh, maybe. Ugh. Oh, my God, that hurts. <laughs> okay, so let's find me a brush. A brush. Come on, gesso brush. Where are you? That'll work. Now, I am not meaning any disrespect um, to anybody by doing this. I picked up this piece with the intention of just 
making it um, into an art project. So please don't leave me nasty comments about disrespecting because I'm not. What I want to do, I'm going to do the bottom two. I am just going to do this as altered art. So I'm hoping you'll look at it the same way I do. And you know what? The more I think about it, I think I'm going to gesso these as well. Come on. Now, even though I'm gessoing these, I'm also going to be um, altering them. And just get around the lid because I know the lid's already black. All right, so there's that one that has to dry. And then this one. I have had so many projects sitting around on my desks, um, on the shelves behind me, just, you know, oh, I want to do this, oh, I'm going to do that, oh, I want to do that, and I just, I can't, I've got to get them done and get them moved to other places because they're driving me crazy. You ever do that? You have so many projects, you just don't know which one to do first, and you get caught up in something else, and it's like, ugh, I know I really, oops, missed a spot. I know I really want to get these done. All right, so I'm going to let these dry, and as these are drying, I'm going to uh -oh, roll out my thing here. Where's my, uh, come here, come here with my papers. Come on, don't you be doing that to me, rolling out my air bubbles. I should have done that to begin with, huh? And if they don't roll out properly, some of these are not. You just take a little knife and just put a hole in it. And it lets the air bubbles out. And you don't even know there's a hole there. Right? See another one here. Here. I should have looked at that. here. So I just put a little slit in it. Roll the air out. All right. Okay. Now, while these are drying, I'm just going to move these back a little bit. And we're going to let them dry. All right. And this I think I'm gonna just so black as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I probably should have done this before I put the stuff in, but that's all right. It's all good. If we get paint on the paper, it's okay. See? I don't care. It's all gonna come together in the end. I'll have to do the sides too. thing that will do is that will give a seamless I'm getting glue on this too that's okay it'll give us a seamless um, from front to back or from side to paper I should say I just love to find stuff like this to play with it's so much fun because you can just you know, there's no right, there's no wrong, you just do it. And do it your way, you know. Um, you know, don't let anybody tell you that there's a right way and a wrong way. Just have fun with it. That's what art's about, it's having fun. You know, and, I, you know, if you get, I've heard, you know, different talk about, well, we're not real artists because we're like craft, no. Anybody that creates anything is, in my mind, an artist. I don't care if you're creating with just yarn or um, you're creating with just 
um, I don't know, when you put a puzzle together, I consider it creative. You're using your brain and your, your I don't know, just letting yourself enjoy and have fun. And that's the best part of it all. All right, I'm gonna dry this a little bit so that I can hold the other side so I can finish this end. And I will be right back. All right, um, since I'm impatient, yeah, I had to start working on this before it was really dry. What I did is I took, um, I'm gonna have to redo some of this because like I said, I started working on it before it was dry. Uh, I took a piece of ribbon, as you can see it here, um, that had this real cool braid on along the top of it, or like a rope. So I glued that on there with some tacky glue. And now I'm just going to start working on putting stuff in the box. I've got a lot of black stuff out here, which I'm good with it. Um, I also have some of these leaves, which I thought were really, really cool. So um, that one's too bright. I want to put some of these leaves down here. So I'm just going to start working on putting this together and seeing what I come up with. I am going to fast forward through the process, basically because I'm not really sure what I'm going to do yet. But um, I hope you guys enjoy it. All right. So have fun watching and I'll be back.
point I need to let it dry um, because I've got so much glue and stuff in here it's crazy um, I'm thinking I really want the mm -hmm. there's more I want to do to it but right now I've got to let it dry I've got to let everything get in place and then we're gonna go from there because I want to add actually before I go I want to add a few more of these pearls in here just because I can I don't know I just I this this was in my head kind of maybe no um I don't know I'm just putting it together what what feels right there's no rhyme or reason to it it's just what feels good to me at this point is what's going in here and that's what I want so that's going in there just like that there we go and I'm just I'm having fun with it you know it's it's great just to find supplies um, whether you get them at you know the store the garage sale yard sales lawn sales flea markets um, whatever and just take those supplies and play with them I mean some of this is actually just recycled stuff I've got old cosmetic jewelry in here I've got um, this was a pair of earrings strings some funky looking beads um this flat metal piece you know old bottles and just it's fun it's so much fun to do this so i hope you guys have enjoyed this but i am gonna let it dry and then we're gonna see what happens and i may or may not come back to this but if i don't i hope you guys have enjoyed as always like comment share and subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you think it's kind of cool and um, we'll talk to you soon. Have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating. Bye.